This is the X37, currently the B variant. Also known as the OTV, or the Orbital Test Vehicle. It's a US space project, currently under the control of Space Force. And it's a mystery. Now today, I don't know fully what it does, but there's one big aspect of what its mission might really be revealed by its handling when it comes back to Earth. Now often health and safety concerns override security because you don't want to lose your personnel. And I think these pictures of how the X-37 is handled back on the ground revealed a massive hidden secret function. These personnel are wearing full protection environmental suits to handle propellant. Not any old space juice, but the highly toxic hydrazine family. Now let's move to the demonstration area where our technician is ready to test the explosive potential of hydrazine UDMH blend. He places the tip of the sparking device into the concentration of fumes. He checks with the safety man to confirm that observers are clear of the hazard. The signal is given and the scape suited demonstrator triggers the spark. It wasn't too many years ago when a chemical manufacturing plant or chemical laboratory was the only place one might find such toxic compounds as hydrazine, monomethylhydrazine, unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine, commonly known as UDMH, or nitrogen tetroxide. In the space age, these have become propellants for rocket engines. Originally developed by the Nazis to propel this aircraft, it's a propellant and an oxidizer mix. The clever thing is, when you mix these two chemicals, it produces heat, steam and energy. So propelling a craft forward, it is used in spacecraft for one thing, maneuverability. That's the key. The X-37 is a big program starting way back in the 1960s. We've already outlived the X-37A, we're currently using the X-37B, and there's a larger X-37C in the DARPA pipeline. So what, in my humble opinion, does the craft really do? I don't know, but it does have one feature which reveals a function, and that is it's a flying gas tank of propellant, so it can move around.
I think it's a satellite killer. By revealing how it's handled on the ground, so revealing how much fuel it has, it must then have the ability to maneuver in space, to change orbit, and in my humble opinion, to rendezvous, probably not in a good way, with a rogue satellite. Space Force and DARPA described the X-37B as an orbital test vehicle. I don't think they're lying. I just think they're being economical with the truth. And by looking at the big picture, you can reveal that the truth is out there.